In this video, I'm going to show you how to roll back your firmware from version 2.0. It's actually really simple. Some people don't like the new Tone Studio, so they want to roll back to the last one from 2021 that came with uh, the metal uh, core pedal and the heavy metal pedal. And But the 2.0 version comes with a lot of great features, so I don't know. It's some people are just like that and they just want to roll back, which I have no problem with. So we're actually going to uh, roll back twice. We're going to roll back to the 2021 version and back to the 2020 version, which was actually the first firmware upgrade. So right now, let's find out which version we are on. You're going to hold that tap button, hit the power. Let it go. This is going to tell us right here. That is version 2.0, one red light on the booster. We're going to shut it off and we're gonna hold the channel and the panel button and we're gonna turn it on. It's gonna blink. That means it's ready to go. It's set in drive mode. And you take the USB cable, plug it back in. Computer makes noise, that means it's ready to go. Uh, the Boss Katana folder should automatically open up if you have Windows 11, I'm not sure about Windows 10. So if it's open, you see it over here on the computer. I've got the two files. You don't want to copy the whole folder in there. I've said it before, I'll say it again. If you do that, it won't work. So you just want to copy these two files, this binary file and this text file. Drag and drop it over there. And now come down here, right click and eject. You hear that sound, it says it's safe. Disconnect it. Now you see that panel button right there is blinking. That means it's ready to go. Let's upgrade. Well, let's downgrade. You see these lights blink. They'll go from left to right. First red, then amber, then green. And then it'll green simultaneous, blink simultaneously green when it's finished. There you go, it's finished, so let's power off. We're gonna hit that tap button again and power back on, check our firmware. These two green lights right here, that means it's firmware version 1.10. Now we're gonna roll it all the way back to version 1.02. So we're gonna shut it off again. We're gonna go channel one and panel. Power it on. Blinky, blinky, let go. It's ready to connect again. So we're gonna, one more time, we're gonna connect the cable. You hear that noise, folder opens, come back over to the computer here, copy those two files from version 1.02. You see version 1.02 up there? It's copied over. Once again, come down here, hit eject. If I'm moving too fast, use the YouTube features to slow the video down. It ejects it. See all the lights are lit up. As soon as I disconnect, just the panel's blinking now. We're ready to downgrade one more time. And we're finished. Shut it off, check the firmware once more. Now, this version, when it lights back up, be green and red. Tap button, power on. Okay, there you go. That is the uh, version 1.02. That was the first firmware version uh, that came out in 2020, I believe. If your Katana shipped after October 2019, I think it automatically came with it. So now we are all the way backed out. And in order for any of these versions to work, you have to have the Boss Tone Studio version that goes along with these ones. I will include links down in the description down below to the firmware versions and the Tone Studio versions. I'll put them all in the same folder. I'll put them in Dropbox and you can download them from there if you need them. Now let's upgrade back all the way to 2.0. So we're gonna power it down. Once again, channel and panel, turn it on. Blinky, blinky, ready to go. Connect USB cable. It connects. We're ready to copy these folders over here. 
move them on over. They're moved over. Once again, down here, right click, eject, disconnect your cable, blinky blinky. And we're upgrading to version 2.0. Power it down. We're going to check one last time, make sure that this is the only light that comes on. It's going to be red and we're going to be back up to version 2.0 with all the great features. Voila. There you go. You've just witnessed a total firmware downgrade twice, right back up to the upgrade. So uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below and I'll do my best to answer them. I hope you found this video helpful. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification button if you want to, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.